sorry, liberals, but the days of going woke and going broke are over because there's a new comedy in town and it's called The New Norm, The South Park of X. <laughs> That's right. All of your favorite right-wing influencers and podcasters have finally put their money where their mouth is and have created the funniest animated TV series of all time. But it's not on TV. Even better, it's on X. Formerly Twitter. Created by uh, Larry Elder, not a comedian. Ruben Report, not a comedian. And that Awaken with JP guy, who you probably remember from going viral on Facebook eight years ago. Uh, it was pretty funny. Had a couple good videos there. What's that? Boring. Offensive. Actually, that is one of my pronouns. And a special appearance by an animated representation of Elon Musk. That's how desperate they are for a retweet from the king of this failing website. They've animated him in. God, please share our show, Mr. Musk, please. Support this show and help fight the woke mind virus with laughter. And they're just pointing down towards a donate link. Who is giving shows like this money for real? Like, do you reckon they've made more than a thousand dollars? I can't see it happening at all. But let's give it a play. You know, it's funny because you can see the crying laughing emoji in the caption. Whenever I see that crying laughing emoji, I know it's funny. I know it's funny. For example, come and see me live. Loosebeers.com. I've got a UK tour. Look at all of these crying laughing emojis that are around. That's that's how you know it's going to be funny, loosebeers.com, and have a look at this emoji. You know what that means. All right, let's hit play on this travesty and see what we see. <laughs> ah! What's that? Progress. It's the new norm. Gay beer. Yeah, a little bit late, guys. Remember eight months ago? Don't worry, we defeated gay beer when Kid Rock shot it with guns. That's how the gay beer went away. Actually, the real defeat of gay beer was bringing Shane Gillis on as, like, the face of it. That was a good move. Bud Light just got everyone back in with that one. That was good. Also, how did he not realize that he bought gay beer? He took it from the supermarket to his fridge, put it in the fridge, took it out of the fridge, put it on the table next to his armchair, and then realized that it was rainbow. Either this guy's colorblind or he's got dementia, which would explain his confusion at everything happening around him. I'm the old norm. I want normal beer. Warning, warning, parameter reached. What is with the laughter? They've got a studio audience. Is, is that real? Who's watching this and laughing? What did they inject into everyone's veins to, to make them find this funny? It's your fault I got house arrest. You're the one who threatened the school board. I gently suggested. Yelled. They stop brainwashing my daughter that girls aren't girls and men aren't men. Everything that they've mentioned, like this conversation that they're having, like old guy talking to very progressive child, that's an area that's like rife for comedy. You could tell a few jokes there but they've just said things that happen they're like oh you yelled at the board yeah because they were they were teaching sex ed and gender ideology okay where's the joke you could say something funny here but you've just said what happened and then people laughed for no reason where's the joke janice What's that? Warning, offensive. Actually, that is one of my pronouns. Also, they, them. You're non-binary? How do you know that word? Just exposition. It's not an actual joke. They're just saying what's happening. I'm non-binary. You're non-binary? How do you know what non-binary is? These aren't jokes. This is just like a an old guy being confused at the state of the world and then like an interesting character coming in that could be made fun of or could be made to tell a few jokes about the old guy to introduce a bit of back and forth, but they do nothing with it. It's just like, look at this character. Aren't they mentally ill? Get it? Because they're woke? Chaz is part of a new government program. To re-educate homophobic, transphobic, racist. Charlie, finally, someone normal. Love that they've gone. Yeah, this will this will confuse those those woke lefties. The right wing guys actually friends with a black guy. And then they kind of expose themselves by having them dab up in a way that no one ever dabs up a black guy. You know, like I've never seen a white guy and a black guy shake hands like that. Like the fucking up down fist pump. That's not real. Like you guys just exposed yourselves for having no black friends. But imagine a reality where I did. I don't understand. You're black. Did that 
just Black Whisper? Black Whisper. What does that even mean? What is what is Black Whisper? Is that anything like uh, like the Caesar, the Dog Whisperer? You know, the guy that's like, tss, tss, and then they just do what you say. Actually, no, they outlawed that a couple hundred years ago, didn't they? <laughs> Hey, how's that for a bit of anti-woke comedy? Take that, you lefties. Oh, I bet you, you wouldn't see that on South Park. Cop that. Chaz is here to re-educate Norm. In non-bonary studies. <laughs> I want you guys to pay attention to how many times they've said the word non-binary and that's the first time they've had an attempt at a joke about it and they've gone, no, non-bonary, huh? Like a penis? Because they because they're neither gender, but I know they've got a little weenie. Because I think about it a lot. Imagine how that came up in the writers' room. They were like, "Guys, we need to make a joke about non-binary people." And then one guy was like, "Why don't we just like describe them? Huh? It's pretty funny. We'll describe them six different ways, and and they'll all be like just a description and not no real humor at all." And then one guy was like, "What about it? What about if we put the word penis in there somehow? Hmm? Hey, that is not very woke, is it?" I'm allergic to dogs. It's okay. Billy is an emotional support dog and non-binary. Oh, okay then. Again, they've just said the word non-binary and that's the joke. <laughs> this sucks. That's not a joke. That's like you're you're going out to make fun of women and and you just and you're just like, "Oh, Sarah is a woman." It's funny because I hate chicks. <laughs> Trouble at home? Ah, oh, my boy, or whatever it calls themselves now, is thinking about transitioning. Reggie? Reggie? Try Regina. God, in about 40 seconds, they've mentioned trans people or non-binary people like six different times and not one of those times has there been even an attempt at a joke. It's just old people going, oh, I hate it when I know that they're around. And then a laugh track plays. I don't get the, I don't get the joke. Like that's not enough. Transitioning to what? Another fumble. Hopefully not a Jets fan. That's a joke. I like that because the because the Jets aren't playing well. That's you know that's kind of funny. Transitioning to one, not a Jets fan because his team's playing bad. That's one joke. I'll give them that. Was it funny? No. Hey, pronoun. This bud's for you. <laughs> oh, I like that. Hey, pronoun. I don't mind that. That's that's all right. That kind of got me. They really racked their brains to try and come up with a slur for non-binary people, and the best they could get with was pronoun, which is pretty good. Hey, pronoun. A clear lack of the double G, but you know it's the best they could do. I can't drink. I'm not 21. Y'all influenced my boy to cut off his junk. But draw the line at beer? So is this character like involved with the black guy's son? I don't get it. <laughs> you know, he's just yelling at a random trans person, which is very, you know, right wing Twitter, isn't it? Like, oh, I've got trauma, so I hate you because you're different. <laughs> Either these characters have interacted and they're not showing us, which is bad, or they've never interacted and that makes less sense. <laughs> can't do this. Yes, we can. Find a way to break him. I'm trying to work out who they are. The, the, the trans military person, I know who that is. I've seen them in press conferences before. And then there's the dude in the dog mask, which I think is like a reference to a, a pride rally that happened near the White House and they were wearing dog masks. I don't know who the bald lady is. I, I don't know who that is. I can only assume that's what they think Michelle Obama looks like underneath the latex. That's her real face. I just... Want normal beer? You know there'll be jokes. That's how it ends. He just goes, you know there'll be jokes. Will there? Because we're at the end of the video and I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> <laughs> like I would be so much less upset by this if you had attempted some jokes and they sucked. But as far as I can identify, it seems like the only joke that was actually a joke that had like a setup and a punchline was... Are they transitioning to what? Hopefully not a Jets fan. That's almost funny. Like, I, like that's a joke, but everything else is just like, non-binary person. Write a joke about it. Like, honestly, for real, am I, do, do I not get it? Like, what is the joke? Can someone please have a best guess at what the joke is? Because he goes, oh, I just want normal beer. And then his friend goes, there's jokes. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. 
Everything's changing and I don't know when. Oh, that's who's laughing. They've literally drawn in an audience. See, that shows a general lack of faith in their ability to garner a real one, doesn't it? Oh, I can't picture someone in real life watching this, but I can imagine and then draw someone watching and then enjoying this show. You know what? That's the most interesting thing about this TV show is that it's an animated sitcom, including an animated audience watching the show. I can fix your show, all right? Bring me on. I can actually make this funny because I think this is actually a cool concept, all right? So the actual show that we've just watched is the fictional TV show that the audience members are watching, but the real TV show is in between takes of this TV show that is made by right-wing people to take the piss out of left-wing people. What if all the actors are actually big lefties? The non-binary person is like a Trumper. They've got the red hat. As soon as they step into their trailer, they put the red hat on. The people in the audience are like confused and they don't really understand the show and they don't really think that it's good. And then there's like a, an investor that's desperately trying to push a right-wing idea on the audience that isn't picking up on the idea and not enjoying the show. That could be quite funny. All right, bring me on as a writer. I'll, I'll fix your show. Right now it sucks, dude, but I can fix it. Bring me on. This whole nightmare will end. Thank God for Elon Musk. And this shit most means. Yuck, this woke nightmare will end. Thank God for Elon Musk. And then he walks in the door like Kramer fist pumping. But it's not Elon Musk. It's just a picture of him. That's going to be the most pathetic desperate attempt at garnering Elon's attention, you know? And Elon didn't like or retweet it, which is bad because he likes and retweets some horrible shit. If Elon Musk doesn't think this is funny, it's not funny at all because I've seen this man cry laughing at an image of a deer that's died in a pool. <laughs> What? You know what? Is that actually that actually happened? I th of course it happened. I think I think this is a reflection of how like just oh my god dark we've become. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Of... Like your show, according to your hero Elon Musk, is quite literally less funny than a slowly decomposing soggy corpse underneath a pool. This sucks, for real. I'm telling you, it's bad because this is the guy that bought Twitter and then arrived with a sink. Go and let that sink in. <laughs> That's what he thinks is funny. And he doesn't think that your show is. So, quit. <laughs> anyway, guys, come see me live. Loosebeers.com. I'm going all over the UK. Three different countries. That's crazy. I'm going to make the UK funny again. And you know it's good because look at all these emojis. All right? Loosebeers.com. Like, subscribe. Tell me what I should talk about next in the next YouTube channel. Uh, next YouTube channel? Next video? Whatever. I'll see you soon. Holy You made it to the end. Well, golly, I've got 20 seconds for an out screen to keep you entertained. What do you think about those trucks, huh? They're pretty b I remember I saw a in public and I turned to my b of a wife and I said, Anyhow, thanks for watching. Support me on Patreon and don't forget to subscribe.